Vlogmas Day 18 and today is the finale to the DIY series I'm hosting with my sister Chrissy over at Hosted by Chrissy called Tis the Season for DIYs and today we're making this gorgeous lantern. If you want to see how I came up with this lamppost lantern, just keep watching. It's Lacey and welcome back to our space. So I want to start out by saying thank you to my sister Chrissy for joining me in this DIY series. We had a ton of fun and we made a lot of Christmas items. If you haven't caught all of the DIYs in our series, I will link a playlist down below and please forgive that this lantern is sitting up against my homemade scroll art I did here, this wall art in another DIY, which I will also link down below, but it is raining outside and so I didn't want to put it outside yet. If you want to see how I made this, just, just keep watching. you'll need for this DIY are a piece of PVC pipe. This one is about three and a half feet long. It came from Home Depot. And as you can see, it is a one inch pipe. A solar lamp. This one also came from Home Depot. The solar lamp was on clearance for $3 at the end of the summer. The PVC piping I already had, but if you buy this size, it will cost you about $3. Also, I have some bells in the back there from the Dollar Tree. I have a poster board from the Dollar Tree, Sim red duct tape, some craft paint, some ribbon, and some other decorations. You'll need a hot glue gun and you're going to need a plant hanger. I already had this one. You could use from the Dollar Tree a reef hanger, but you'd also need some zip ties for that. First, we're going to take our solar light here and we're gonna take it apart. We're gonna remove the top portion and set that aside. Then we're gonna move the stake portion on the bottom and we're gonna set this aside also. This middle section we don't need, so we're gonna discard it. Then we're gonna take our PVC pipe. It has writing on the back of it, but I'm not gonna worry about that because we're gonna use that as the back. We're going to take the top of our solar light and we're going to place it inside the piping. Just like that. It fits perfectly, but if yours doesn't, if you decide to create this, you can always just glue the base of it down to the piping. Then we're going to take our plant hanger and we're going to decide where we'd like to place it on the side of our PVC pipe. I think it will be good at around this height. Then I'm going to take some cable ties and attach it to the side. It came with screws, but I'm not going to bother screwing it into the PVC piping because I'm not going to be hanging anything very heavy off of it. Once I have the cable ties on, I'm just going to put a little, a few little dabs of hot glue in there to secure it so it doesn't like slide around at all. Then next I'm going to take this red duct tape and I'm going to start at the top here and go around the PVC piping and leaving a gap in between each section and stripe it to make it look like a candy cane. So here's what that looks like and it does take a minute to do the duct tape on the PVC piping so take your time. Now we are going to set that portion aside and we're going to focus on the sign we're going to hang from it. I got this from the Dollar Tree and it's a nice sign but I don't want this as my sign. I was going to paint the back side and just leave this side as is but I don't like what the side looks like so I'm going to paint the front side of it. 
and I'm just using some red. Okay, so this took more than one coat and you can see clearly it's not completely covered but that's not going to bother me at all because I'm going to be putting stuff on top of it. So I have this little cut out of a car or a truck with a snowman. So I'm going to use that and then I have some of these stickers left over from another project. So I'm going to use those and I'm going to write on it. So here is a closer look of my final product. As you can see, I use the Dollar Tree Bells. I use some ribbon from Michael's 70% off sale, along with the holly berries that I also hauled. If you didn't see that haul, it is on my channel right now. I also use the Dollar Tree artwork that I changed up a little bit so it suited my taste. The duct tape and the PVC piping I think came out really nicely and the entire thing was very cheap to do. If you had to buy all the items I'm pretty sure you could do it for about $20 dollars depending on how much you paid for your solar light and it does light up so let me show you. So this is what it looks like at night and it's stated on the light that if you gave it a full day of sun it will last for up to six hours. I'm in love with this. I'm going to be taking the stake that came off the light and putting it in the bottom of the PVC piping there and it will support it outside by our front walkway. So if you like this, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below on any questions you may have. I want to thank my sister Chrissy again, and I will link her channel down below so you can check out her project. Make sure you go over and show her some love. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, for liking, and sharing my videos. And if you're not a member, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We have fun here. Also, if you like, you can follow me on Instagram. It's Lacey Space, the same way that it's spelled here. And I will catch you in our next video. Bye, loves.